I came out of the flats with a quarter of squeegee black. But across the road there was a car parked up with black tar windows, it looked like a Toyota Corolla. And one of the windows rolled down, and a voice came from inside, and it was our Dean, and he said, all right, Chris, have you got any draw on you, mate? I was like, no. He says, yes, you fucking have, dickhead. What have you been doing in the flats if you haven't been scoring? And I said, oh, yeah, well, I have scored a bit, but it's for me, Nana. He says, never fucking mind, you Nana. Get in the fucking car. We need a bastard smoke. We've been smoking rocks. We're all fucking uptight. We need to calm down a bit. So we got into the car. And then I noticed it was a pretty full Toyota Corolla. There was our Dean, our Rupert, and our Johnny. There was our Ben, there was our Ifty and our Taz <laughs> There was our Schwe, there was our Denise and our Valley There was our Boopinder, there was our Denise and 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 her sister Sarah Denise and her sister Mary Denise I'm not right imaginative in my family when it comes to girls' names <laughs> girl sat in the car and I rolled a couple of spliffs to take the edge off living in Bradford. <laughs> and because there were so many of us, I didn't go that far. So I rolled a couple more to take the edge off there being so many of us in the car. And then I filled a couple of pipes to take the edge off being in Eccles Hill at all. <laughs> and then I filled another couple of pipes to take the edge off having glasses and looking like a white version of how from the Halifax advert. <laughs> I've got so much of <laughs> it. was a bit hurtful. <laughs> I got myself though, didn't I? And then we filled another couple of pipes while we were sat in the car. And our Dean was listening to Khalees and Khalees was singing. She sang, my milkshake brings all the boys to the end. <laughs> It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I'd have to charge. And I, thought, I do love Gillies. I do love her, but I wish she'd stop fucking ringing me up. She can't fucking accept that it's all over between me and her. I've moved on. Me and Missy Elliott are together now. I love a girl in a puffer jacket, mate. Who's <laughs> not afraid to wear men's boots, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> So, after smoking loads of me nana's ganja, I says to our Dean, can you give us a lift back to Ravenscliff to take me nana a spliff? And he said, no fucking way, dickhead. <laughs> I don't think you noticed when you got in the car, but it's up on fucking bricks. We've got the worst. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I decided to walk all the way back to Ravenscliff. In your old job, you must have heard lots of jokes. Sure. Now, come on, let's hear one. Mm. Come on, tell us. No, Ian doesn't tell jokes. No, no, he's not a comedian. Just books the acts. Hmm. Well, all right, then I will. I'll tell you a joke. This man goes into a pub, OK? Um, village pub, like this village. And uh, he gets himself a drink and everything and sits down in the corner by the fire. And then this other chap comes in a few minutes later and uh, the barman sees him and beams and he says, uh, he says, um, he says, Coxwick and Mike, your usual. And he, the man says, that's fine, thanks. Oh. Takes a drink and goes and sits down. And the first guy is watching him thinking, my God. And then this other man is leaving the bar and he bumps into the, the other guy and he says, I'm terribly sorry, Coxwick and Mike, didn't see you there. And he says, that's all right. And then, if another few minutes go by, and then a few minutes later, this van pulls up. It's one of those Pony Express telegram vans. And the, um, the girl, you know, the woman with the little bellhop hat and the little shoelets, jumps in and she says, um, Telegram! Telegram! Cox, look at Mike! Telegram! And he goes, runs over. He says, thanks very much. I'll take that now. And he, anyway, our man is obsessed. He can't contain himself any longer. He goes over, he says, I have to ask you, how did you get such a name? What, how, what happened? And the guy said, well, I grew up in this village, you know. I had a wonderful job. I had a great business and everything. I, I, I gave money to charity. I repaired the church roof, sent kids away and everything, my own money. Married a beautiful girl. Had the respect of the whole parish and all the outlying parishes, you know. But you suck one cock. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>